All right, this is a demonstration of a, a Jewel Thief battery charger. I've got a 900 uh, or a 9 volt solar panel on top. You can see it working. And a thousand ohm resistor connected to the positive side of a diode. I've got the negative showing up to this. Okay, I've got four coils on this on this donut right here, and I have a double A battery that I keep in the front, and I'm running a jewel thief. I have some spare bulbs in case that one happens to burn out or I get one burn out on my solar panel too much power. Um, but I have an indicator light for my solar panel, so not only that, it keeps it at under two volts to keep the the battery charged in the front of my, my jewel thief circuit. Um, my second two wires out, out of out of the four actually go um, off over here to the second board over here that I that I installed. And they uh, they hook to diodes in here which run all four of these batteries. They're double A, there's a pack of those. And then all four of these triple A's, there's a pack of those. They come up kept them with on and off switches so in case that uh, I want to use this thing as a, a flashlight and let it run for day and night for a long time without running low I could um, but it can also charge batteries um, the, the solar really helps out charging that primary battery because with a, a thousand ohm resistor on your jewel thief and two extra coils on this this donut it, it draws a lot, a lot of uh, milliamps, so it's nice to have um, a backup power supply for the uh, the battery in front. Um, but like I said, I'm running a regular Jewel Thief, and nothing's different about the Jewel Thief. It's the exact same circuit you'll find online if you just look up J O U L E T H I E F circuit, and it'll tell you how to wind one. And you get you a donut coil with two wires, and uh, make the jewel thief. Add you, add you an extra two windings in there, two or three if you feel like it. Um, just know that the more windings you put on there, the more you're gonna have to tweak your transistor, change the resistors on it, and everything. Um, maybe even possibly get a different transistor. I've I've heard that there's different speed switching transistors, so uh, the higher speed switching is what you really need in the germanium diodes coming off the second second leads into your batteries here or you can put multiple transistors in line and uh, do kind of the 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 Bedini uh, method there um, but yeah it, it's pretty cut and dry you know I got four double A's there and my triple A box is sealed up because I got lithium in there I don't want anything bad happening to lithium and it uh, getting any anywhere but the battery box so um, non-chargeables in there which is kind of exciting I've had those charging all day even in the midst of cloud cover I'm in sunny Florida today and uh, chance of rain 60% so even under these conditions where the this the sky is full of clouds at 6 o'clock um, I'm currently not experiencing any delays in my use of my jewel thief so but yeah there it is um, I've got a probably inch and a quarter iron core um, I pulled out of an older model TV you can purchase those online I think they're like 50 cent a dollar maybe and then you know all the parts for the jewel thief you can get those at Radio Shack for under a couple of bucks a couple of LEDs you know um, you can find them anywhere. I buy them in bulk. So, but yeah, that's uh, my Solar Jewel Thief charger. And, uh, you know, it's, it wasn't complicated to build. I got the box for it from a screw box that I got. And, uh, you know, it doesn't work too bad. I might have put some more thought into where the LEDs go, but um, this bulb is my secondary bulb. This is actually going to be on only when this battery is full charged and it's six o'clock in the evening facing north 
it's staying at a full charge and has been for the past four hours. And I'm charging eight batteries in here. Thanks for your time.